Hey fam, and internet fam, we are here for hashtag Healthy Gamer campaign. Vlog, I think number nine, maybe? Today is a particularly tough day in the series and it's going to be very difficult for me to be making the videos from today and a couple of days on. I'm not saying I'm not gonna make them. Just, it's, it's gonna be very difficult because I've had a, I've had a knee injury and I'm not sure how, how long it's gonna take to heal up, how bad it is. I'm gonna keep pushing through it though, I'm crazy like that. I, I have insane passion, I'm, I'm not worried. But like sitting in this position on my knee is a problem, so I got like a pillow propped up underneath my knee. And whatever issues you all face, just, just keep going. Go slow, go hard, but keep going every day. And let's do the first uh, three sets for the intro for the vlog for today. And motivate and pump you all up for hashtag healthy gamer campaign with some push-ups or your choice exercise. Let's go. Kind of excited for today because the suicide sprints today were really difficult, but I'm hoping we have some improvement in push ups. On the other hand, I'm just happy that I'm here and I'm putting the work in. <laughs> research today which says that a person who can do more than 40 push-ups as opposed to a person who cannot is way less likely to develop cardiovascular diseases heart diseases and I think some breathing uh, lung diseases as well not too sure on the third part there but the first two yes I think this study was conducted in a sample of firemen who are way more prone to such such scenarios either way pretty sure that that's good for all of us everybody's got a heart right oh getting inside set number two Let's go. participants to join in on the hashtag healthy gamer campaign the campaign slowly starting to to make progress and I believe in the coming days we'll be seeing some participant clips in the vlogs as well and that's really gonna motivate me and I hope it also motivates all of you Last session, last live stream on Dota, we played a battle cup 
we played a semi final for the tournament that I host called Super Dota League. And it was three games back to back, but I made sure in the middle of all those games as well. I got the hashtag Healthy Gamer Campaign push ups in and pushed my teams to get uh, some exercise in there too. Or their choice exercise. It could be crunches, it could be squats. The whole point is to get up after 40 to 60 minutes and put some work in. Particularly today, I am dying. I don't know how I'm getting through this workout routine today. I don't have it in me to go on, but I must. That's all I know. Set number three, let's go. Suicide sprints today were so difficult. Yesterday was my break day. One day a week I take a break from work and from workout. Just complete, complete break to let my body go through its resting and recovery process. Even if I don't feel like it. And I feel taking a break is part of the discipline. Otherwise you will have reduced performance, reduced stimulus and as a result reduced progress because your body becomes immune right it becomes used to i even had a small bar of chocolate yesterday <sighs> just to keep things mixed up you got to keep tricking your body so that it doesn't know what to expect when it comes to calories it doesn't go into starvation mode and it doesn't go into metabolizing everything so fast that you cannot put on muscle either so you have to find a balance fast metabolism is still better but don't go into starvation mode because then you're trying to lose weight that's one of the side effects people slow down the metabolism but not eating too much because the body thinks it's going to starvation mode it stops processing and breaking down food calories to a point that you'll just keep stocking up and become super efficient but won't have enough energy to do what you need and also not lose weight because your body is at a static. So don't do that. You must eat, you just, mu you just must eat healthy in short intervals, not too much at once. And then every now and then, jolt your body with some surprise calories. That is actually what the cheat day is for. The cheat day is not so that you can fulfill your food cravings yeah that's part of it but actually with the food cheat day is for is to break down and confuse break down your body's uh, way of thinking and and jolt it and confuse it a little bit so that it thinks more food's gonna come and then you go back to healthy routine but the metabolism stays round number four fight <clears throat> One more round left. I don't know if it was a cartoons animation or uh, or or some actual movie where this person had to train to a point that they had to. 
squeeze their shirt out of sweat into a bucket until that bucket was filled with like halfway or something and only then their their training would end if that was me I would be out in 10 minutes because I sweat a lot my yoga mat is drowning right now meanwhile fam just keep going every day. I don't know what's gonna happen if you keep going every day. Yesterday, my I, I visited my house. I was talking to my brother who made me realize that actually what I was doing was HIT, which is H-I-I-T, High Intensity Internal Training. Come to think of it, the first round is because I do suicide sprints 10 minutes and then I, I go right into push-ups for almost 10 minutes. And 20 minutes of H-I-I-T, four days a week. That's actually way more exercise you need to burn be burning down fat and also to get stronger other than that you just need some weight training but I'm not incorporating that in this right now or I feel like I've already got a bunch of muscle right now I just need to lose some fat first before we build on that and I'll take you on that journey too we'll get some home equipment and I'll show you how to do a complete setup at home even though it's a myth that you can't and it's a myth that you can as well, you just have to find the right sustainable plan for yourself. We'll, we'll get there, don't worry. For now, let's focus on this. Last set. Last set, my Dark Horse fam also. Congratulations to Dark Horse fam for reaching the grand finals for season three, season two STL. Season three is launching in a couple of weeks, but this coming Saturday, we've got the season two grand finales and me and Team Dark Horse are actually playing against Team Ubu. That's gonna be epic. Alright fam, on that note, we're gonna call it hashtag healthy gamer campaign, intro sets done, first uh, vlog for today, we'll be making out of this, see you soon on stream, let's play some games, let's game a bit, keep going with our workouts, and love you all, for everybody who's participating, who's engaging positively, keep going, may the force be with you, <laughs> take care, love you all, bye.